I'm out here standing in a Jigs Bermuda grass pasture. And look at this Jigs. Right here where I'm standing, when I pull the Jigs up, that little segment is up past my mid thigh. Most of it is knee high. Lush. Looks good. You can see where the sunlight doesn't reach down here because of the canopy. But that's a really nice stand of Jigs Bermuda grass. And I'm standing where I showed you the video several videos back of that strip of hay that had not, uh, the cattle hadn't eaten and wasn't decomposing well. It was just kind of sitting there, but I showed you where the jigs were starting to grow across it. Well, the jigs is really making some strides towards covering that up, and then that will all just melt away and become food for the plants and the, the uh, soil microbes. Pretty thick bed here. There's a lot of a lot of uneaten hay right there that's useless um, from the perspective of what we typically think hay is used for, but it's excellent for the microbiome beneath the soil. So you can see how this jigs is starting to run across the top of this hay. This will provide really good forage here in the not too distant future look at that that's all stuck through and actually growing through the hay and so this is going to really make this a very lush strip right through here and i just turned the cattle into this pasture here this evening all the south poles but one have calved they're really doing good. The mamas are keeping their body condition. They should breed back well. And that's a huge goal right now for me is just get these heifers bred back. And the best way to do that is to provide good forage. So I'm moving them every three to four days. And a lot of those cattle have moved off to the other side of this little strip that I got them in. But they're all fat and shiny and sleek and very pleased with them. So that's my little update. I really can't emphasize enough how much this hay really helps the fertility, particularly in the sandy loam soil. And there's some bahia grass over here. And the bahia you can see is a bit sparser right here and only because is there was a pretty thick mat of hay here and that will all fill in over the course of the summer but look at how green and how dense some of this is there's some rye grass interspersed amongst this you can see the seeds there but this was just sand 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 it wouldn't grow anything and look at it it looks pretty doggone lush as we're here in the middle of May. So, beautiful evening. Love this stuff. I hope that you're inspired by it and you can turn your property into something that's extremely useful agriculturally and something that gives you great pride and, and allows you to enjoy the beauty of the land. So once again, thank you for riding along with me. I appreciate you watching this video. And stay tuned and we'll make another. Have a great day.